welcome dear students welcome to open university up rashi tandon open university prayagraj myself dr dinesh kumar gupta assistant professor chemistry school of sciences today we discuss the paper 1 ugc he 101 unit 2 periodic properties of element we discuss this unit module 3 कोर्स कोड यू जी सी एच ई वन जीरो वन कोर्स नेम इनऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री वन बेसिक इनऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री यूनिट टू पेरियोडिक प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ एलिमेंट्स मॉड्यूल थ्री इन दिस यूनिट मॉड्यूल वन इंट्रोडक्शन ऑब्जेक्टिव टाइप ऑफ रेडियाई आयोनाइजेशन पोटेंशियल फैक्टर अफेक्टिंग द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ आयोनाइजेशन पोटेंशियल वी स्टडीड इन मॉड्यूल टू electron affinity and its variation electronegativity pauling molecan aldrich scale and its variation is discussed today we start module 3 concept of effective nuclear charge and shielding effect calculation of screening constant with slater rules module 3 concept of effective nuclear charge and shielding effect and calculation of screening constant with slater rules and summary terminate questions and answer as you see in the slm in slm 2.6 concept of effective nuclear charge and effect shielding effect calculation of screening constant with slater rules screening effect in multiple electron atom there are number of electrons some of them occupied lower energy orbital because these orbital occur between nuclear and higher energy orbital they tend to decrease the effect of nuclear charge on the electrons present in higher energy orbital this effect is called screening effect since electron present in different type of orbitals such as s p d f orbitals are screened differently because they are attracted to different extent by the nucleus the various orbitals has at different distance from the nucleus have different energies the extent of screening of electron by other electron in the atom is calculated with the help of empirical rule known as slater rules concept of effective nuclear charge slater rules consider an electron in one of the atomic orbital is multi electron atom due to the electrostatic repulsion by other electrons in same and other orbitals the nucleus charge felt by the electron will be less than the actual nuclear charge this electron is said to be screened from the exact nuclear charge and reduced charge felt by the electron is called effective nuclear charge the intervening electron screen the electrons present in a peripheral orbital the effective nuclear charge of any electron in the configuration of an atom can be calculated by the following relation z effective is equal to z actual minus screening effect s is the screening constant the screening constant can be evaluated by following empirical rules known as the slater rules number 1 the various orbital are grouped in order given below starting from the nucleus 1s orbital 2s 2p orbital 3s 3p orbital 3d orbital 4s 4p orbital 4d orbital 4f orbital 5s 5p orbital and so on number 2 for an electron present in a group of s and p electrons the value of screening constant s is the sum of the following contribution number a no contribution from any electron present in a group 
of orbitals lying right side of the group for which screening constant s is to be calculated number b a contribution of 0.35 from every electron present in a group of orbital as an snp under the consideration contribution of 0.30 from the other electron in 1s if screening constant s is to be calculated for 1s orbital and c a contribution of 0.85 per electron from all electron present in the n minus 1 cell and d a contribution of 1 per electron from all electron present in the n minus 2 cell for an electron present in a group of d and f electron rules for 2c 2d replaced by the all electron in the inner cell contribute per electron 1.0 rule important application of slater rule the slater rule are also applied to explain the certain facts of follows as follows why a 4s orbital is filled earlier than 3d orbital consider a potassium atom having atomic number 19 in this case out of 19 18 electron filled as in argon atom 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 10 electron in 18th electron may enter a 4s or 3d orbital let us calculate the effective nuclear charge for 19th electron when enter the 4s orbital z effective for 19 electron 19 minus 0 into 0.35 Minus eight into zero point eight five minus ten into one point zero, it give nineteen minus sixteen point eight zero, and finally we get two point two zero. If effective nuclear charge Z effective for nineteenth electron when enter in three D orbital, this is for four S orbital and this is for three D orbital. Z effective nineteen. And minus zero into zero point three five minus eighteen into one, it gives nineteen minus eighteen point zero, and it gives one. Therefore, we can say four s electron feels much more electrostatic attraction than three d orbital three d electron due to higher due to greater effective nuclear charge. consequently 4s associated with lower energy than 3d configuration thus a 4s orbital is filled earlier than 3d orbital one more question is here why transition metal ions lose ns electron first during ionization for magnesium mn atom of atomic number 25 has a configuration 1s 1 2s 2 2p6 3s2 3p6 3d5 4s2 according to slater rule let us calculate z effective for 3d and 4s electron z effective for 3d electron z effective Atomic number is twenty five minus zero point three five into four plus one into eighteen. It gives five point six. And jet effective for twenty five zero point three five into one plus thirteen into zero point eight five plus one into ten. It gives three point six. Jet effective for four s is less than three d electron. Suggest four s electron feels less attraction than 3d electron with nuclear charge hence the removal of a, the electron from an isolated magnesium is much easier than the 3d electron
here we discuss one more question why an ion an ion is also bigger and a cation is also smaller than the parent atom for example chlorine atom with electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p5 z effective for last electron for chlorine atom is z effective 17 0.35 into 6 8 into 0.85 plus 1 into 2 it gives 6.1 z effective for last electron for chlorine ion is z effective 17 0.35 into 7 and 8 into 0.85 plus 1 into 2 it gives 5.75 Z effective for chlorine ion is less than in the case of chlorine atom. Therefore, electrostatic attraction in chlorine atom is more than the chlorine ion. Consequently, the size of the chlorine ion will larger than the chlorine atom. Similarly, in the case of sodium atom and sodium ion, the electronic configuration of sodium is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1. Effect, Z effect for last electron of sodium atom is Z effect 11 minus 0 0.35 into 0, 8 into 0 0.85 plus 1 into 2. It gives 2.20. Z effective for last electron of sodium ion. Z effect 11 minus 0 0.35 into 7 plus 1 into 2 it gives 6.85 z effective for sodium ion is greater than in the case of sodium atom therefore electrostatic attraction of sodium atom is less than the sodium ion consequently the size of the sodium ion will lesser than the sodium atom here one question arise why atomic size decrease with the increased atomic number in a period? If we consider first transition series from scandium to zinc, the Z effect goes on increasing with increased atomic number. Therefore, the electrostatic attraction with the nucleus also increase with atomic number. Thus, the atomic size goes decreases with increases in atomic number in series here we give more calculation of screening constant of alkali metal of valence lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium for lithium this is the configuration and this is the calculation of the lithium here we see lithium calculated the screening z effect 1.7 sodium 8.08 8.8 potassium 16.8 rubidium 34.8 and cesium 53.8 calculation of screening constant for members of second period of valence electron lithium and beryllium lithium configuration 2 1 and beryllium is 2 2 and screening constant calculation 2 into 0 0.8 and for beryllium 0 0.35 into 2 0 0.85 it gives 2.05 here one more question arises why ionization energy trend successively increases the first ionization energy is always less than the second and second ionization energy is always lesser than the third ionization energy and so on this is because effective nuclear charge Z effect of the atom goes increases with removal of electron of atom. This may be verified by the students by calculating Z effect of free atom and unipositive, dipositive and tripositive ions. First ionization energy is less than the second ionization energy and second ionization energy is less than the third ionization energy like so atom plus ionization energy is lesser 
and atom plus plus ionization energy is greater than atom plus and atom plus plus having much more ionization energy than atom plus plus. Here we discuss the limitation of Slater rules. Number one, according to Slater rules, the screening by S and P electron of the same cell is equal. But we discuss that S cell electron are more penetrating than the p electron of the same cell therefore screening by s electron will be more than the p electrons number 2 according to the slater rule the outer cell electron do not shield the inner electron this might be not true for example the outer s cell electron penetrate close to the nucleus and thus apply a shielding effect. And three, according to the Slater rule, S, P, D, F electrons of the same cell screen with some extent to the higher cell electron, but the electrons of S, P, D, F orbital differ much in their penetrating power with otherness is greater than NP is greater than then ND and ND is greater than NF. N denotes the number of electron. Thus the electron present in these orbital not have same screening power for the outer cell electrons. Thank you.